you okay? Yeah, he's fine. You, on the other hand. I'm fine. Dr. Trent, call seven. What are you doing out here? Did I take Dante in for tests or something? Is he all right? Oh, yeah, he's fine. He's just sleeping. I got some coffee, came back, oh. and the sun was there. Oh, thank God. Are you was sick of dealing with Sunny, too? And Oh, no, I'll deal with Sonny any day of the week. You want me to go in there and boot him out? I'll tell you no. for sure. He'd rather wake up and see your face than Sonny's. <laughs> Did I say thank you yet? Uh, for what? You're the reason Dante's bouncing back like this. Uh, I'm not a doctor. No, no, you're better than a doctor. You're the woman that he loves. With that smile right there, this little hand in his, and the fact that you said yes to his marriage proposal... I didn't hurt either. So did your kids pick a day yet? Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you're changing your mind. It's just, you know, force of habit. Mm. I remember it well. Yeah. All those nights I'd wake up wondering where you were, only to find you across the room in that chair, sound asleep, gun always within reach. I was just trying to keep you safe. It wasn't just me you were protecting. Demons usually come out at night, especially the ones you keep locked up. How's he doing? He's doing good. He's still, you know, he's just, he's just been sleeping since I got here. Hmm. I've been watching him, thinking about, you know, like, all the time that I miss with him. Not just like the first steps or the first words, but what his face would look like when I we go get him from the crib, you know. Hmm. What would happen when I dropped him off at school and he would turn back to me and just wave or not wave, I don't know, because he, maybe he wouldn't wave because he think, you know, he's too cool, right? Like father, like son. Things could have been different, you know. If you'd have known. Come on, Sonny, for him, maybe not for you. You were always on a path, God help whoever got in your way. Having a kid changes everything. Even the best laid plans and the worst place to anger. Hmm. You want to get some coffee? Hmm? Would you like to get some coffee? I'm in desperate need of a caffeine fix. From here? Did you not hear the word desperate? Beggars can't be choosers. That worked out for you. Lulu, have you spoken to Maxie? No, why? Well, if you do, will you just tell her that I'm looking for her again? And um, if you want to come back to Crimson, the offer's still out. Thank you. Um, but it looks like I have a lot going on right now, so. He's sleeping, actually. Yeah, I yeah. know, but I still like to sit with him. Hey, look, can, before you go in there, can we talk? Or you still blame me for what happened? Dante knew where he stood and what lines he wouldn't cross. And then the truth came out and you pushed for a relationship. I didn't force Dante to do anything. Dante's he always wanted want to, to know what it would be like to have a father. You think he would pass at the opportunity to find but out? But I'm not going to apologize for wanting to know my son. You put him at odds with himself and everything that he believed in. And worse, you played on his emotions to protect yourself and your dirty empire. And Lulu. you never once thought about how your son would suffer for it. Lulu. You are afraid and scared for Dante. You have every right to be, but let's not forget that he was on the job when he was no, shot. No, he was off duty. He knew that. He was off duty. He was at your warehouse trying to head off an attack and keep the peace. Why? Because no matter how many times you let him down, he will always try to protect you. And instead of you being grateful, you actually exploit that every single chance you get. You don't deserve him. What'd you tell him? I mean, forget everything. Forget all this. I. I know that he proposed to you. Did, did you say yes? Maybe I just, you know what? Maybe I don't deserve Dante in my life. I don't deserve you in my life. I don't deserve anybody. 
Well, Sonny, that never stops you from trying to make it happen. Well, I, it's important to me. When things are important to me, I want what I want. You know that. Yes, I do. Why? Why? Why do you do that? Is it is it nostalgia? The thrill of the chase? I want you to be brutally honest with me. Since when? Because you're one of the only ones right now who can call me out on my stuff, and it does not feel like my stepfather backhanded me. Feel good to get that off your chest? You don't have to defend me, you know. You're not in a position to stand up for yourself, and I'm not going to let Sonny take advantage of that. I don't know why he still gets to me. Because he's your dad. You've been really supportive when it comes to my father. And not just traveling all over to find him, but helping me realize when it's time to let go. And it took me a while, but I did it. And now I think it's your turn. You want me to give up? I want you to let go. I can't. I don't know how. If I did, we wouldn't be engaged. Whether they mean to or not, all our dads ever end up doing is hurting us. It's not the same. Why not? You grew up most of your life with Luke in it, and, and I spent my life wishing for a dad. And I hate what Sonny does, but that need, that doesn't go away. Okay. Well, you know what I wish for? I wish that I would have the same relationship that my brother had with my dad. And I knew my dad loved me, but what they had was untouchable. And I wanted that more than anything. I still do. So what does that say about me? It says you love your dad. And all the good it's done me. I'm gonna go. Mm. Yes, I'm gonna go. Because I think you need to get some sleep. I love you. <laughs> I love you.